start hello guys now we'll be starting with a new chapter that is central nervous system physiology okay now in this video we'll be mainly concentrating on the basics okay now what is nervous system what is central nervous system what is peripheral nervous system what are nerves ganglia what are the receptors first order neurons second order neurons okay now in this video we'll be discussing from the basics after discussing basics in the later part of videos we'll be going into the concepts okay now first of all let's write it down here nervous system okay nervous system was mainly divided into two parts you guys all know okay first part is central nervous system one division is central nervous system and other is peripheral nervous system so what is the difference between central nervous system and peripheral nervous system the name itself it's a central nervous system the one which are present in the central part of your body okay the brain and spinal cord so central nervous system includes brain and spinal cord okay they are the centers centers for processing okay these are the centers where information will be processed okay central nervous system now what are coming under peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system include nerves okay peripheral nervous system include nerves now which nerves cranial nerves okay and peripheral nerves are the spinal nerves now see guys here let me show you in a simple way imagine this is your brain so i am just showing you a simple diagram guys these are the different parts of brain here will be cerebrum okay cerebrum midbrain pons medulla oblongata here will be cerebellum and from here is the spinal cord okay spinal cord now what and all i have shown you the brain and the spinal cord brain with the brain stem and spinal cord all the structures whatever i have shown you this is central nervous system now to the central nervous system there are certain extensions or i can say from your especially from the brain stem from the brain stem which includes mid brain pons and medulla from these regions there are certain nerves which are coming out okay there are certain nerves almost 12 pairs of nerves are coming out now what are these nerves called as as they are coming from the brain stem they are called as cranial nerves okay cranial nerves which are present in the cranium they are present in the brain okay they are coming out of the brain stem now there are certain nerves which are coming out of the spinal cord okay these are the nerves which will be coming out of spinal cord i am saying there are certain nerves which are coming out of spinal cord these nerves are called as spinal nerves okay there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 21 pairs of spinal nerves are there so these cranial nerves these cranial nerves okay all these cranial nerves and all these spinal nerves they are coming under peripheral nervous system brain brain stem cerebellum spinal cord all of them are coming under central nervous system okay this is the basic thing which you need to know okay after seeing different parts of the brain now let's talk about neurons how many types of neurons are there okay types of neurons first type of neurons are called as sensory neurons so what are sensory neurons these neurons will take the information from the body to the brain for example touch pain temperature pressure proprioception all these informations okay now all this information from the body will be carried by a sensory neuron to the brain 
Okay, so sensory neurons are the one which takes the senses to the brain. They are also called as afferents. Okay, sensory nervous system, sensory nervous system or the sensory neurons are called as afferents. Okay. Now, second type of neurons are called as, see here guys, second type of neurons are called as motor neurons. Now, motor neurons are efferents. So, they takes the command after processing, they takes the command from the brain to the site, to the effector site. Okay, for example, see, whenever someone comes and pricks my skin, that information, pain information will be carried by a sensory neuron to the brain. Now, in the brain, processing will happen. Now, what I should do? A motor neuron, a command will come from the brain to the effector site so that I will take my hand back. So, motor neurons are giving the command to the site, effector site so that I will take my hand back. Okay. Now, so what we have seen? We have seen two different types of neurons, sensory neurons and motor neurons. Sensory neurons are called as afferents, motor neurons are called as efferents. Now, here I want you to know one more important point. The sensory neurons, they are taking the information to the brain. Okay. So, they are ascending, they are, these neurons are ascending to the brain. So, whenever you listen the word ascending tracts, ascending tracts, will you think about sensory nervous system or motor nervous system? Definitely sensory nervous system. Why? Because these neurons are taking the information and they are ascending up to the brain. So, whenever you listen the word ascending tracts, you have to think about sensory nervous system. And the sensory neurons are inputs or not? Yes, the sensory neurons are inputs. They are acting as inputs to the brain. And what about the motor neurons? Motor neurons will take the, bring the command, will take the information to the site, to the effector site. So, they are coming down like this from the cortex. They are coming down and going to the effector site. So, they are descending tracks. Okay. Descending tracts. Now, why we are discussing all this is because in the initial part of this chapter, we will be mainly discussing about the sensory nervous system how senses are going to ascend up. In the later part, we will be mainly discussing about the motor nervous system, how the commands will come from the cortex to the effector site. Okay, first sensory nervous system, later motor nervous system. In sensory nervous system, we will see different types of senses, different types of receptors, how the sensations are going to travel to the brain, different types of special sensations like vision, hearing, taste, olfaction, all this will be covered under sensory nervous system. Later, we will be going to the motor nervous system. Okay. Now, after saying this, let us talk about the senses first. We are starting with the sensory nervous system. First topic is senses. How many types of senses are there? The senses are mainly classified into two types. Okay. First type is called as general sensations. And second type are called as special sensations okay general sensations special sensations now what are general sensations and why they are called as general sensations see general sensations include touch pain temperature pressure Okay, touch, pain, temperature, pressure, these are the primitive sensations which can be elicited from any part of the body. Okay, they can be elicited from any part of the body. You can feel touch here, you can feel touch on your tongue, you can feel touch on your feet, you can feel touch on your back. See, touch can be elicited from any, any part of the body. There is nothing special about the touch. It can be elicited from any part of the body. Okay, so for all these general sensations, the receptors, the important point is receptors are present on skin. Okay. So, general sensations are the ones which are having the receptors on their skin. Okay. Pressure receptors, touch receptors, pain receptors, temperature receptors, they are all present on the skin and they can be elicited from any part of the 
body okay why because skin is there on the on all our body so they can be elicited from any part of the body now what are coming under special sensations special sensations include taste okay okay let me write it down like this taste olfaction vision hearing or audition and balance see all these are also senses central nervous system is getting all this information but taste can no be only elicited taste receptors are only present on the tongue taste cannot be elicited from the fingers taste cannot be elicited from the thorax taste is something localized so these are special sensations coming from special organs same with olfaction olfaction can only be happening from the nose vision is going to only happen from the eyes and retina and hearing is only possible with the ears and balance is going to be possible with the semicircular canals and vestibule okay semicircular canal vestibule is there no in your ears from there okay now for the special sensations let's talk about the receptors receptor for special sensations are localized in special organs like i have already told you i have already discussed with you that's the eyes ears nose vestibule vestibular apparatus tongue okay from there now after discussing this let's talk about a very important concept which is called as order of neurons okay now we have seen different senses now let's talk about the different orders of neurons now for how many types of different order neurons are there there are first order neurons okay first order neurons second order neurons third order neurons now what is the difference between these first order second order third order neurons see first of all let me write it down here later i will explain first order neurons are the ones which will start from receptor which will start from receptor starting point is receptor and ending point ending point for the first order neurons is spinal cord second order neurons second order neurons starts from the spinal cord and ends in thalamus and third order neurons they will start from thalamus and they go till to cortex okay so first order neurons second order neurons third order neurons i have discussed with you so where first order neurons start and where they will end sir what exactly we mean by first order second order third order neurons now let me show you here okay first of all let me draw a simple diagram okay here i am showing you the cross section of brain we all know this is how the brain looks on the cross section this is mid brain down will be pons and here is medulla oblongata down to middle oblongata we are having spinal cord okay let's take this as the spinal cord now let's show you a receptor here okay i'm just showing you a receptor in a simple way this is receptor okay let's take a receptor for touch okay touch receptor now someone comes and touches you now here on your skin there are touch receptors first of all what is a receptor okay what is a receptor receptor is something which converts receptor converts one form of energy into electrical impulses for example i am saying you if someone comes and touch can i feel that sensation or not definitely i will feel that sensation how i can feel see if someone comes and touches my skin definitely someone is coming and touching there is this mechanical energy okay mechanical energy is getting involved okay coming and touching mechanical force now there are receptors for touch here now this mechanical energy mechanical force is getting converted into electrical energy so receptors are the proteins you can say receptor are receptors are the organelles we should say organelles receptors are the structures which will convert one form of energy into electric 
electrical impulses. Okay. Now, someone is coming and touching. Now, what this receptor is doing? It's converting that mechanical energy into electrical impulses. So, here is attached. One neuron is attached. Okay, this is the first order neuron. Okay. Now, this first order neuron, where it is going? It is going into the spinal cord. Okay. Now, this is the first order neuron. Now, what I have taught you? So, first order neuron starts where? The starting point for the first order neuron is receptor. And first order neuron is going where? Only till to the spinal cord. Now, what should happen? Now, this information need to go till to the brain. Okay, where you are feeling? You are feeling this touch, pain, temperature, pressure, all this you are not feeling here. You are feeling actually in your brain. Okay, so the information okay, is transferring in the form of electrical impulses. Now, these electrical impulses are entering into the spinal cord. Now, from here, what will happen? The second order neuron will start. Now, the second order neuron is going up like this okay in the spinal cord the second order neuron is going up it's entering into medulla it's going into pons it is going to through the midbrain and here in the brain there is this one structure called as thalamus okay now here the second order neuron will be terminated the second order neuron is terminated now second order neuron function is completed. Now just tell me, can we call the second order neuron as ascending tract? Yes, the ascending tracts which we have discussed previously, the ascending tracts are nothing but the second order neurons. Why? Because they are ascending, they are taking the sensation up in the spinal cord, ascending. Okay, so these second order neurons are called as ascending tracts. Okay, now what will happen? From here, from the thalamus, the third order neuron will start and it is going to the cortex. And cortex is the place where you will feel the sensation. Cortex will process, cortex will understand. Okay, these electrical impulses will be understand with the cortex. So, these are the third order neurons. So, in a sensory pathway, just tell me, how many orders of neurons are there? First order neuron, second order neuron, third order neurons. Simple. Third order neurons are starting where? Third order neurons are starting from the thalamus. See the starting point for the third order neuron is thalamus and ending point is the cortex. Important point is see, first order neuron is ending in the spinal cord, no doubt. But second order neuron, are you able to appreciate it is crossing to the opposite side. So usually second order neurons crosses to opposite side. Okay. Crosses to opposite side. Now, after this, let's talk about receptors. Okay, in detail we will study later. In detail about each sense, how temperature is traveling, how pain is traveling, how proprioception is traveling. In discuss we will study. But this video is all about the basics. Now, important receptors. Okay, first let's start our sensory nervous system with the topic of receptors. So, receptors I have already taught you. Receptors are the one which will convert one form of energy into electrical energy. Okay. See, for example, if someone comes and touches my, touches my skin with a hot object. Okay. They imagine that this pen is very hot. Okay. Now, if someone comes and touches my skin with a hot object, can I feel that heatness or not? Definitely, I can feel that heatness. So, on the surface of my skin, there are thermoreceptors. Now, what these thermoreceptors are doing? Thermoreceptors are converting this heat energy into electrical impulses. So, thermoreceptors are converting the heat energy into electrical impulses and those electrical impulses are traveling to my brain via first order neuron, second order neuron and third order neuron. Okay. Now, first type of receptors are NOCI, nociceptors. Okay, nociceptors. What are nociceptors? They are the receptors of pain. Second receptors are tactile receptors. Okay, tactile receptors. They are the receptors of touch. And third type of receptors are proprio. Proprioceptors. Okay, proprioceptors. They are the receptor for which sense? Positional sense. Positional sense of joints. 
okay position of the joints in the three dimensional space even without looking you know where your finger is even without looking you can see where your elbow is so sensations are going to your brain about the position of your body in the three dimensional space that is called as a proprioception even without looking you can know you know where your thumb is in the three dimensional space you know where your thumb is so some sensation from your thumb is going to the central nervous system your central nervous system is receiving the sense of a position of your body so that is called as a proprioception proprioception is taken by the proprioceptors proprioceptors now what are teleceptors teleceptors now teleceptors respond to response to distant stimuli distant stimuli what does i mean by see normally thermoreceptors let's take thermoreceptors thermoreceptors are the one which are identifying the temperature okay temperature now if there is a thermoreceptor here now if someone comes and touches my body with a hot object my my thermoreceptor is going to be activated it converts the thermal energy the heat energy into electrical impulses so there is a direct contact contact is there so for touch receptor also tactile receptor also you need to come and touch it for for it to activate but if there is light coming okay if there is light coming from a distant source my rods and cones will be activated or not yes definitely rods and cones in my eyes will be activated so rods and cones are the receptors of light these receptors are activated by a distant stimuli light coming from so far okay so let's take an example teleceptors example here are rods and cones rods and cones okay they are the they are the uh, receptors of light or we can say rods and cones are the receptors of electromagnetic waves light is nothing but electromagnetic wave right so this electromagnetic wave is getting converted into electrical impulses in your retina with the help of rods and cones so rods and cones are the receptors of light are the receptors of electromagnetic wave uh, electromagnetic waves uh, which are getting stimulated even with the distant stimuli okay so teleceptors respond to distant stimuli already i have taught you thermoceptors thermoceptors now what are these thermoceptors responds to heat or cold so these are the different types of receptors which you need to know okay guys we have seen different types of receptors in the next video we will mainly discuss about different properties of receptors okay receptors are having certain properties that will be discussed in the next video thank you